Hi there, welcome back. This is Boeing Lights number four. Today I wanted to talk about something I'm calling the bow ties. I wanted to combine our previous three lessons into short strokes and long strokes into a, a, a bowing pattern that we could apply to a fiddle tune. So if you remember, we talked about short strokes and we talked about long strokes, infinity bowing and circles. But today we're gonna do old Jimmy Sutton, the low part, and that uses a shuffle bow. It's a very commonly used bow stroke. And just to review, it goes something like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Kind of alternates back and forth uh, because of the, the way that the pattern works. It's, too, it's a long and two shorts. But we, we want to add our rhythmic pulsing to that. We want to give it some thrust. So what are we going to do? We can take a half of an infinity and a couple of circles and we can make it work. So we have a long stroke to take care of it first. So if we just do the same, and we'll, we'll just work with the open strings for this example. So if we start on our down stroke and just do our, our infinity bow, we do a pulse, a downward arc, then come up, circle around. And now instead of coming right back up, we're gonna do two clockwise circles for the up, down, up. That's going to launch us back into the second half of our infinity bow, our long stroke, come back up. Then we're going to curve around and we're going to do our down, up, down uh, to start again. Down, up, down. And that launches us back down into our down bow. Gives you a little bit of a bow tie to kind of do the double, the double tie there. Maybe. Okay. So let's put it all together. All right, I'll do it a little bit faster for you. Okay, what's kind of fun about that is that while you're doing it, uh, you can still hear that, that shuffle pattern on the A string. But it almost seems to happen accidentally with all the, the pulsing going on. Uh, it's kind of your own little band working in there, which is what we're after. So let's apply that to old Jimmy Sutton. The low part of old Jimmy Sutton goes like this. So we form a D chord with our third finger on the A string and our first finger on the F sharp and the E string and really just play that shuffle pattern on top of that. So it's down, but we're pulsing on the low, getting the, the D drone string on the bottom there. So we do our down pulse, then up. So what's interesting about that is that you're doing that pulse in both directions now, instead of just working on it. You're doing it in one pattern, both up and down. So anyway, back to old Jimmy Sutton. The first phrase of the, of the low part is that, that bow tie pattern. Then a long stroke on, on uh, an F sharp, and then two counterclockwise circles. So it sounds like this. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, and then the second phrase just adds a G note before it fit, does the finishing phrase. Okay, so to put it all together, it goes like this. Okay, what's so great about that is that you can work on that pattern and you can play old Jimmy Sutton with it, but it gives you, as I said, that, that comfortable uh, ability to play that pulse in both directions up and down. And that comes up a bit in Tommy Darrell's playing. 
uh, he would often play a hornpipey ending, say, at the end of a tune. You might recognize that sound. But you can see that he's doing those pulses down, up, down, up, down, up. up. So it gets you comfortable doing that pulse in both directions. It sets you up nicely for some tunes down the road. Speaking of tunes, I did want to mention that I got a couple of inquiries from folks asking whether I'd recommend this book, Brad Loftovich's Old Time Fiddle Round Peak Style. I certainly would. It's a, a great repertoire book. Uh, it's got some, some interesting history, and it's got 83 tunes that are painstakingly transcribed and very accurately marked in, in standard notation and in tab. Um, and it has a wonderful CD, which is great for just listening, but indispensable for learning a round peak style fiddle. All right, that's all we have time for today. Good luck with the bow tie, and I'll see you next time.